guys, so today I'm joined by a special guest, Eddie. Yeah, come down to my level. Oh, look, no, I'm bigger. <laughs> I'm, <not even. laughs> I'm joined by Eddie Williams, Williams, the singing Willem. strongman. Williams. <laughs> Williams, the singing strongman. Um, so we're just going to talk briefly about Glasgow. Last night, we had the Giants Live World Tour finals here last night. Mm -hmm. um, it was... I think it was probably one of the hardest events this year because the format changed a small bit. We're normally used to finishing on stones, mm. and last night it finished on power stairs, which was it actually went really well for you. Yeah, I was like, I haven't. The last time I did it was at Arnold's about six years ago. Yeah, and that's the last time I touched him. <laughs> I was looking at you, going, He lied to me. <laughs> oh. He's been training this every day. Well, I have been training it, but I, like <laughs> training is totally different yeah, to yeah. Uh, you know comp. Yeah, so that is, that is the finisher. Um, I think it, any of the lads would agree it was really tough um, because, like, if you look at from this point of view, like stones normally takes twenty seconds and mm -hmm. last a bit done, yep. whereas this went on for seventy five seconds, I think. And even though that might not sound like a lot. It was a lot for us at the end of it, like that was at 8pm, that was after a long day of, even before the event ever kicks off, we have mm. interviews and we have all this sort of stuff. VIP meetings. Yeah. yeah. So it's a long day for us and we're not obviously getting in our normal food intake either, so we're missing calories and stuff and we're just replacing it with the likes of rain and jelly babies and... Wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. So yeah, so as a last event, it was good because yeah. it was tough and it was different. But um, if I had a choice, I'd finish in stones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, I'm, uh, I'm just. I think what fired me up was our performance. Yeah. Because I was just like, because I walked out and I like had a jump in my step, <laughs> and I like yes, it was the event, but at the same time, like we just rocked the house, like you know. So we just, I'm glad that. We did that because it was like a pre-workout, you know, for the last event. Because I was like so tired. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. oh. Actually, that's true. Yeah, I was actually like buzz, wasn't after that. Oh. Yeah. Um, if anyone hasn't seen that, um, I think Giants Labour shared. It They're about to share it. Yeah. So it'll be on their page where me and Eddie we went out. Well, it was my mother's birthday, and it was our first time coming to Strongman Show. So we kind of decided we'd sing her happy birthday and there was a couple of other birthdays as well. Yep. And we sang 500 Miles by the Proclaimers. Actually, it is saying, I just in the background and I dropped my microphone. He was miming, he was miming. <laughs> <laughs> Colin turned off my microphone in there, the dickhead, so. <laughs> I can't believe he actually turned my microphone off. Oh, that's hilarious. I was like, it's okay, Colin, I'm not going I, to. I thought you, you pulled away. I did put it And then when he said that you actually turned it right down, I was like... I I'm sorry, but we, ha we had to switch off your microphone. You, you were louder than any. <laughs> you did it to me. <laughs> um, so, that was probably my favourite part of the night as well. Yeah. I was kind of, um, overall, I was disappointed. Well, I'd say I came into this competition with a back injury. Mm. So, overall, I'm kind of happy. Because if you look at it, from second, like, Mitchell just took off. Yeah. Forget Mitchell. Forget that guy. We don't even like. We don't even like him. <laughs> so from like from like second down to I think it was like, like ninth or ten, no from second down to like tenth place. Mm. It was a battle all the way through. It was literally names. We, everyone was everywhere. stealing points. <laughs> Everyone's just stealing points. One mistake would cost you like five so places. Much, yeah. um, it was just so. It was such a hard. Fucking, it, it was, was a hard time. like. It was a hard comp. Like yeah. You know, was, Colin. Colin said. That you know, this is a final. Like the the guys who make you know the top eight here, you know, will get a will be looked at favorably. You know, for for world yeah. yeah. Um, and like I think and it doing, showed. It showed. <laughs> That's <a> why <laughs> it was a dog fight all the way through. And for me, I may as well not have done the first event because I came last. I I hooked the stones. Wrong, or I'm not even 100% sure what happened, but I made a balls of it anyway. Um, so for me, I only really did four events. <laughs> yeah. I just did well in the dumbbell and I did well in the deadlift, and that kind of kept me in the running order. Mm. Um, it kept me mid pack, but um, it's just it's just stone carries just one of those events you just can't really turn for. But it, it's like 
again, it, it split the points up, split which is what you want to see in a show. It's exciting, you know. Yeah. Um, you can't, you can't pick it, you know. Yeah. And it was just everyone is really good at stone carrying now for some reason because, like, bringing it twenty meters only got you mid pack. Yeah. But and bringing it twenty meters the last time he was in the show would have won it for. But then a lot of people were getting more time with the stones too. Yeah. Like Mitchell got to do it at the Arnolds. Yeah, yeah. And then he kind of had his technique yeah. in his mind. If I just fight through the pain of my thumb almost falling off. Yeah. Then I can... Like there was... How many people? Four people who got the world record and it changed. Yeah, That was yeah. crazy. Four world records in one event in one night. It just like you saw someone who got the world record and then... You know holding their head pretty high and then beat that and then they they get beaten and then it's like oh <laughs> it'd be like so yeah yeah the first of it was tough um after that then we did medley the yep. medley is another one that can go really wrong for you because i'm not sure if you could see it at home it's basically you to pick it's like a, a hook and you have to hook can <laughs> i get on. a <laughs> <laughs> um, so you have to hook onto it, and that went wrong for me more times than not in training. Um, it went wrong for me in the back. It went wrong for. I think it went wrong for me. It went wrong for everyone. It's just one of those well, things. No, it was for the other need, guys. Like you just it, need Andy, Mark, Felix, they could not hit it down. All right, I see. Whereas see. I, like, I had a, I managed to get it in quite fast, but um, my pull, like. I don't know, I'm going to work on my technique, maybe straightening both hands out and just, you know, the thing with legging the, a bit more. The thing with the drag is getting as many links as you can off the ground. I had two, like, yeah. I, I, I went to two, like I told you. Oh, was. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, I, and I thought, you know, I had a pretty fast time, but then you've got, like, cardiac. Uh, I was over cardiac then as man. well. He was fast. And you know what? I was back. My link went perfect. I dropped a link, went straight in and ran around. Yeah. And I was there before him, and he just... He just ran. He just. He just took off. Man, I don't know if you're watching this. You're a bitch as well. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> no, um, clip it. Guy, <laughs> um, Someone's so gonna use that on you. <laughs> and it's just gonna be a pound of angry at you. He's like, I'm wider than you. <laughs> it wasn't you. It was good. Look, it was good looking Pablo. <laughs> but yeah, good looking Pablo. I mean, <laughs> good looking Pablo. It was definitely good looking Pablo. <laughs> Um, that's a handsome man. He's handsome, but he's not this handsome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, next event then was deadlift. Deadlift is normally a really good event for me. My best, I've got seven reps in this setup before, um, so me getting five is bad, but on the fifth rep, just as I locked out my fifth rep, my back went oh. and I clicked, I could feel it clicking, and I went, oh no. I literally held this up there and I was like, oh no. And it just dropped it back down, and I was like, nah, I can't do no more of this. Uh, so that's when my back went to that point. Um, you, I, I was really happy with my four reps. Like, at Royal Lab Hall, I think I just managed to get two. Um, but since I've been training, I've lost a bit of weight, so my suit's really loose. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So it's like the shoulders are like <laughs> the shoulders are like that, but the the bottom half is tight, you know. Yeah. So uh, just so I know that noise because his weight is actually a bit deceiving. He's lost weight. He's now <laughs> oh, he's now 180 kilos. Guess that weight. <laughs> I would have said like 160, but it's actually 180. I'll, I'll weigh myself when I get home. Obviously, I've, I've done a lot of eating this weekend. Yeah. Um, but um, so yeah, your body weight is big. You're 180. But it's funny. A lot of people go, "Oh yeah, Eddie Williams." You don't think uh, you don't think, you don't think heavy. You just think, yeah, he's a, you know, um, he's not Andy Black, but he's like you know. Yeah. But then people see me in person and they're like, Ooh. "You are dense." <laughs> that is a thick boy. Like Brett Nichols was like, "I did not expect you to be this big." <laughs> he kept touching me. <laughs> Brett kept touching me, he's like, man. Oh, you're real. Man, come on. You're real. I'm a real one. I'm a real one. So, yeah, that was deadlift. Then we had dumbbell. I was kind of a bit wiped out for dumbbell because obviously I was after hurting my back. But I still managed five reps that dumbbell. Wow. Uh, dumbbell's really good event for me, though. I love dumbbell. I can just about. I have really good technique, though. Yeah, yeah. I have a kind of an Olympic weightlifting technique where I'm yeah, yeah. and I just. 
So five is good for me. Um, you guys two, two. Yeah. yeah. So that's a tough to that, well, and like Peely for me, like uh, I think at the Royal Albert Hall, I did the eighty, the ninety, but then I missed the hundred. Yeah. So getting two for me. Yeah, it was good. But yeah. if I can, like, there's heaps of uh, events and places where I can improve. Yeah, like I, I can only get better. <coughs> exactly. Yeah. So what age you actually? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, 27. Oh wow, you're younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so then we had, that was Dumbbell. Oh, yeah. then we went singing. Then we, yeah. How, how do you, like, talk us through how that came about? Do you know what, it was weird because like if I was, do you know if I was in the pub and I was having a few drinks and there was karaoke on, yeah. there was like twenty people in the bar and like, oh, I'll go up and sing. I'd be like, oh no, I'm too nervous. Yeah. But last night I wasn't a bit nervous. I couldn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't wait to get up there. Yeah. And yeah. Like how many? There's like ten thousand people there. Um. So I was, and plus everyone that was on the live stream, that live stream is going to go to like that morning. It's like a million views. It's going to be. Wild. And it's just me, just. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So <laughs> that was really good. I enjoyed da, da, da. that. But how did it come about? Like. Was it like how did you plan it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, well, get, to explain it to people how. Well, see, I wanted the, I was kind of coming to this anyway. I wanted to try and shame my mother a small bit. Yep. To shame her because she's never come to one of my shows before last night. Yeah. So I wanted to point that out and backfire me because <laughs> she was like, "Yay, you mentioned me." <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so I was kind of coming here anyway to maybe sing happy birthday to her, but um, obviously then I mentioned about doing it with you and you were going to do the song anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I said we do a duet. Yeah. And we could duet. No, I, I like that, you know, because they were like, oh, what songs do you want to do? Like, we could do a few. And I was like, I really want to do this song. But instead of doing it by myself, like, you know, like, you take one half of the stage and I take the end, we just rock the slide that we're on. Yeah. And then... You know, choosing the song we did, like the ringing on the arms, like people just ate it up. Like, it was good. It I was, really, it I really awesome. this, yeah. It's probably my favourite thing of this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was definitely a highlight. And then we had the Power Stairs. Power Stairs. Power Stairs is bad for me because my back was whacked at that stage every time I went to clean. And, and it's very. Oh, it's so bad. Back dominant. <laughs> yeah, it's literally all back. And I barely got up the fourth one and I just pulled it at that. Um, I was hurting all the way through that event. Oh. I came, I think it was near the bottom of the pack with that, so that cost me. If I just done middle of that, that would have. The that, that would have pushed you up. Yeah, yeah, it cost me about three places doing really badly in that. Um, had it been stones, I would have managed through it. Yeah, um, yeah. And would have done better, so that's a pity. Um, but you did really well, mate. Oh, oh man, I, I surprised myself. I was looking at you doing it and I was going, oh, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Because <laughs> you made it look really easy. I, like, I ripped, <coughs> I ripped my hands up. By then I was just like, last of it, just give it everything. You know, and just try and, like, you know, I, I like this event. But I thought I did pretty well and then I see, like, Ivar's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, hmm. I was asking him afterwards, I was like, uh, how are you so good at it? I have good technique, I just grab it and I pull it up and I just throw it up. Like, <laughs> have you got any tips? I just bring the log here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally the same thing. Yeah. I just catch it and I pull it up and I throw it up in the step. I was like, I did that. Yeah. I tried to put it on the step. Oh, it didn't work for me. Um, no, but yeah. But yeah. Uh, fun event for me when... I'm glad that they're bringing out different events, you and know, us. just to open it up. And mm -hmm. it, it showed how everyone stole points where they could, and it just yeah, yeah. makes it a good thing to watch because <laughs> everyone's scrambling. For yeah, points. everyone's scrambling for points. <laughs> yeah. Every one mistake last night cost you three places. Like for me, the, on the on the power stairs, because I did badly, that cost me three places. Um, the first event I came la dead last, and that just I, mean, I did four events last night. So I, I wish I had more time with the nickel stones. You did, and, and, yeah, and, yeah. and hook grip it. I imagine what I did. You I, hook like, grip now? No, I didn't. You have really big hands as well. But if I if I had you know if I oh, had done mine, more, mine, mine <laughs> 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 if I 
if I had, I reckon, you know, just like with the uh, Hercules hold, like all these specific events, yeah. Like next time, you know, uh, next Giants, I want to come do like a week at uh, Darren's house. Darren's house, yeah, yeah. And just, good. you know, make the most of that opportunity. Yeah. Because little things like uh, hook grip, uh, you know, uh, the dumbbell, like pushing so, through the. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you can get a bit lucky in those type of events though, because the first time I did it was at Europe's Strongest Man two years ago, and I actually brought it. That was my first time ever touching them. Yeah. And I actually brought it farther. Then this weekend. Then this yeah, weekend, yeah. yeah. And that's after, because I got two rings at home, and I just hook, put it on the plates, so just was hook gripping yeah. that and walking with it. But I don't know. I actually, I have no idea how to get better than that event. I'm just thinking like that could have changed my placing big time if I placed like second or third. Mm. And you're that would have changed the, the whole, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I've got things to work on and I can bring that up and yeah. next year that'll be, you know. So what we're taking away from this is you need to work on your hook grip and I need to work on my singing. Yeah, definitely. But man, if you, as long as you can hold a tune, it's not about you singing, it's about the crowd singing, we, you know? Because they start singing along, and yeah. then they were expecting us to sing, but then they are, they all sing, and then you hear the whole crowd, and it's like, whoa, we're getting goosebumps. This is yeah. wild. Like, I didn't think I'd expect this from a strongman concert. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like you're at a... I feel more confident on the fact that you were doing it because you are like a professional singer. But it's like, like, people were like, oh, you can hold a tune, I'm like, that wasn't even singing. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was yelling. Yeah. That was, that's an anthem. You don't, <coughs> you don't sing, it, sing yeah. an anthem. You, you know, and I won't walk fine. You know, so. Yeah, it was fine. Whereas if you wanted singing, you'd be, you know, I will go by the river. <laughs> you know. So the next time we compete together, what song do you think we should sing together, Lee and Eddie? Oh, man. I, I think this, you know, yeah, let us know in the comments what song you'd like to hear from us at the next show. Um, and we consider. But I, I, I'm, that's all I'm going to be doing, like doing my homework. It's funny because uh, Nick and actually came up to me and he's like, "I like singing too." So yeah. There's like all these guys now yeah, that I'm yeah. inspired, you know. You <laughs> want to do a singing with your duets too? Yeah. No, I, I just remember I was working security at a, at a bar at a club, and the power went off. And like all the lights turned off, and it was like it was a full, like the beer garden was full. It's like uh, probably 200 people out, and the lights just go off. And I'm security guard, so I'm supposed to be like keeping everyone calm. And I grab one of the the trays, <laughs> and I'm like bang, bang, bang. And then I'm like, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> so then you just have this beer garden, yeah, yeah. you know, going off. That's a very shame from is it? Man, so there's so there's like. Like, I'm getting goosebumps, but like finding those tunes that people just, yeah, super easy to do, yeah, you know. And then we start dancing while we, you know, um, have you seen the film? Um, um, about it's like a soccer film, no, Freddie Mercury. Oh, yeah, film? yeah, yeah, that's the um, what's it called? The Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you remember the part where he was on about how he came up with the tune We'll Rock You and yeah, he yeah. said to start kicking the ball, yeah, 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 wow. <laughs> So yeah, let's see if we could do that. Uh, yeah. But we we'll will, rock. we will rock them, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's an easy one. But see, the the stomping works. Yeah, stomping works. Yeah, it's good. And that was his idea as well as getting the code involved in the song. It, you always have to get them because then it's it's just about us. Whereas yeah. if you make it about them, then they're like, Man, so that was if, a really good experience. Like, so then if it's shit, we can blame all the crowd as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but it, it, like when you have got <laughs> seven thousand people. Uh, coming together, working together. Yeah, it's like, man, wow. and and that's the that's that's a part of it. You know, that's a talent. Yeah, being able to con like control and it's almost like an orchestra. You know, yeah, you're the you're Gla the guy conducting. Glasgow was amazing then because it had that um, natural amphitheater. Oh man, it was. It was kind of nice. It's really. It was like a new version of uh, Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, it, it was, was actually, like a, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. That's how. That's what it reminded me of because it was like people Very all the way up yeah, to yeah. the. Yeah, yeah. Really good. We cannot wait to be back here next year. Yeah. Well, any of the shows next year, because we could just, you know, we could surprise people. You know. Yeah. We could sing. Um, private dancer. 
well, the cool thing is like next year, like just being able to, uh, just having like a, a pickup with uh, my guitar, yeah. so you can just walk through the crowd, yeah. and then you can just sing, you know, you can just, with, with the mic, yeah, yeah. the, the, the um, cordless mic, just walk around. I know? can bring a boron, RT whistle. But um, anyway, that's all from us. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you check out the website, pick up some merch. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.